Hey, hey, it's Leanne and Simon for today's topic, which is self-reliance. We're going to get started over here on Instagram Good too. Instagram going. And you can talk while I do some sharing in a moment once we say hello over there. Uh, we're not live over there. No? No. Okay. <laughs> Look at this technology. Are we live? No. Um, just bear with me, guys. Sorry for leading across. Cross. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> right, let's try that We've one. got a few people joining us over here on Facebook. If you just joined us, pop your details and in. hello there. over here on Instagram. Pop your details in. Let us know you've joined us. Uh, I'd love to welcome you to this <laughs> evening's uh, Facebook Live. Um, so, hey, Lee. Hi, I'm just doing some sharing. So you All can, right, just you doing can some talk sharing. to everybody. Hey, everyone joining us over on Instagram. Uh, big welcome to you this evening. Thanks for joining us. Pop your details in. Let us know that you're here. We've got a great personal development topic uh, we're going to be discussing this evening called self-reliance and uh, of course you've joined Simon and Leanne on Leanne's Loving Life Now Facebook page and of course we're going live on Simon and Leanne on Instagram Oops. so great to see you over there just trying to get it up it's not and um, up in the right place yeah here. we are good to go now you're mm. saying I need to adjust the camera slightly is yes, that right all right a little bit I'll, further back. I'll be back just needs to go back just go back <laughs> Hello over there on Instagram, who have we got? Um, Levin, we've got Sue, we've got Shelly, we've got a few other people. All right, I'm back. How's Sorry, that? I still haven't shared because it wasn't loading properly for me. I'm going to be a little bit behind, but uh, all right. Well, great, uh, great to have you all here joining us on, here we go. on both Facebook and, of course, Instagram this evening. Great topic, and uh, we're really looking forward to this topic. Talking about self-reliance, what's it all about? What is self-reliance? And... Uh, and of course, what's it going to do for you in your life? So I'm excited about it, Lee. You are. Excited to be here this week. We, um, we've come off our 10-day cleanse. We have. And we're Looking hard. pretty good. Skin, <laughs> skin's good. Uh, dropped some weight, about 4.7 kilos. I lost. You lost a bit over five. And um, we came off the cleanse and we went out and we're celebrated. <laughs> we did. And uh, yeah, I went a bit hard on Saturday yes, night. Yes, you did. Had, yes. uh, and enjoyed the food and uh, the red wine. Yeah. And... Um, Somebody was, had to drive. <laughs> it was uh, it was a great it wasn't night. You. It was a great night, and thanks to our friends Mary and Jeannie <laughs> up in Noosa who uh, who uh, enjoyed the the lovely evening with us and oh, uh, were so great company. Fun. Yeah, Jeannie sent me some uh, pictures today. She's actually made a, a pie because they couldn't find the pie that we were talking Aww. about. So she made a, a fish pie. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, she was looking for what was it? The um, the scallop pie. pie. We're talking about a scallop pie. Next time we come visit, we'll bring you some. We'll bring you one from Banjos. <laughs> so if you've got a Banjos near you from Tasmania, there's a couple on the Sunshine Coast. They do great scallop pies. So and if you've good. Never had one. Um, you deserve to have one. Absolutely. There you go. Awesome. So let's jump into the topic. So um, I haven't seen anyone's messages pop up. Oh really? We've got no messages popping so up. So I'm thinking hmm. something's going on on this app over here of yours. Okay. All right. Let me have a look at uh, our phone. So here. I might have to have it. We'll see um, what's. That's what I'm thinking. Is have I might have to have the computer open so we can see comments. We'll see what's going on. Because there's none coming up. Hmm. So I'm thinking it's your phone. That's why it's doing weird things. Yeah. There's heaps of comments. All right. Uh, All right. So I'm gonna have to watch it live, guys, down here. So let me. Yeah, not sure. Not Get sure why. Let's, somebody wants to pop a comment in. We'll see if it comes up now. That'd be great on Facebook. See, I've got them all start. here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's weird they're not coming up. Sorry, guys. I'm just having a look. Okay, so we've got Shani. We've got Dee. We've got Ida, Nick. Uh, Life is meant Gabrielle. for living. Vicky, get out of you. Um, the Queen Jeff. of... Queen of B? Uh, looks at like. Queen yeah. of B. We've got Jeff. We've got Faye. We've got and Kathy Kavadis. Rose, Agatha, us. Kathy, uh, Natalie, Brett, uh, Colette, Patricia, Richard from the UK. Uh, we've got we've got heaps of people on here, so awesome. yeah, the messages aren't coming up. All right, well, great, uh, great for you to be here, and of course, uh, let's jump into our topic, Lee. Self reliance. Um, I love self reliance because it's about getting stuff handled. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to get? Whatever you got to get handled in your life, self reliance is all about that. So it's about um, being a cause in your life and taking advantage of the opportunity, the time and what's going on in your life. And um, most importantly, it's about getting those little things done. Mm -hmm. Following your North Star. Yeah. We've all got a North Star. And if you don't know what your North Star is, that's a great exercise to go through as well to discover what your North Star is. It was one of the first is. topics that we covered. It was one of the first topics we covered. but uh, And it's available in our recorded versions on YouTube. 
Yes. So the topic North Star, you'll find it on the Simon and Leanne and Loving Life Now page on YouTube and also on Inst- on IGTV. Yeah. So we're over on Instagram on Simon and Leanne on IGTV, so you can find all of our uh, recordings over there as well. But um, North Star is something; it's a it's a guiding light in your life. So the guiding light that guides you to ultimately what. Um, your destination where you want to yep. go. Your destination and happiness. Yep. It's going to guide you to ultimate your ultimate happiness in your life. Now, um, to be self-reliant, what do you got to do, Lee? What's, what are some of the steps we can take to be self-reliant? Um, well, like you said, get things handled. Yep. So you need to handle all the little things that aren't finished off. Loose ends? Loose ends, yep. Tie up those loose ends. So how many loose ends have you got going on in your daily task list or your life at the moment that you think... Wow, I've, I've got that thing on my list and it's just hanging over my head. I'm going to share with everyone one of the loose ends that I <coughs> always had Excuse hanging me. over my head and that was the monthly monthly reports for my business. Oh my <laughs> goodness, trying to reconcile everything. And, um, you know, it was hanging over my head and I didn't get it done. And then I get to the end of the quarter where I've got to do my um, tax, you know, my BAS tax reconciliation. And it would take me hours, like Hours. I'm talking yeah. six to eight hours to actually get it sorted. And why? Because I I didn't tie up the loose ends along the way. Mm-hmm. So uh, I've certainly made a change in that area. It was something that I really, uh, it really sort of didn't sit well with me. And I wanted to create the change. Mm-hmm. Um, so I had to I had to change my mindset around it. Okay. Yeah, I just had to make a task. Yep. And get it done in the little increments rather than yeah. having to do the. So the end of every at the end of every month, I go and do my end of month financials and, and get it done, get it handled, yeah, and uh, get the reconciliations done, get the balancing done. So in other words, I tie up the loose ends and um, and get shit done. Great, yeah. I actually do mine every day. That's good. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Well, you're just too efficient. Oh, all right. Someone said lost you. Um, maybe that's just you, Ros. I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah, don't know. Um, All right. Well, we're still we're still Colette live. Said, Colette said, "Sort out my wardrobe. Been on the list for years." Yeah, there you go. Make it a weekend task, Colette. Um, make it this weekend. Just set aside some hours. Rip everything out of your wardrobe. Clean it. Vacuum it. Do what you got to do, and then ask yourself when you put stuff back. When was the last time I wore this? And if you can't remember, then uh, put it aside and give it to somebody that's going to get use out of it. Yeah, or you might find something and go, oh my God, I forgot I had that. <laughs> you're, not, you're not coming near me when I do my wardrobe. <laughs> we've, done, we've done yours a couple of times. Just saying. All right, so what else have we got? You've got to fulfill the promise when you're, when you're um, being self-reliant. You know, promises that maybe you've been avoiding. You might have promised to do something like your wardrobe or you might have promised to, to do something for somebody and you haven't mm-hmm. done it. Yeah. So fulfill that promise. Go out there and make it happen. Um, make the call. Ring someone. Yeah. Someone you've been meaning to someone speak you've been to meaning or... to speak to or someone that you've been meaning to call and you've they've been on there, oh I must call my dad or I must call my mum or yeah. I've got to call my sister or my brother or my long lost friend or somebody. You know, if you've got that on the list, go and make it happen. Um, see if you can do that this weekend. Let me just uh, put that back on because I thought that was gonna change. That's a bit better, we're brighter now. Um and, make uh, smarter. <laughs> <laughs> um what else? Um relationships you know yeah. create new relationships yeah, empowering really the ones, ones that don't serve you yeah empowering relationships that's about self-reliance did that today what did the relationship today? or the, uh, Ma- the maureen brownlee um i don't know maureen what did you do today um because we're sort of covering a lot of topics here what did you what did you do did you uh you made the call maybe she made the call to someone ah, that she loved maybe. or was important or someone that had um she'd sort of let go by the wayside so kerry says hi guys really need this talk today Ross says, broadcast has been interrupted. Ah. I think that might be at your end, Ross. Yeah, we're still live. Everyone's still got us live. So uh, we're kicking along, trucking along. All right, so make the call relationships we spoke about. Finalise the paperwork. That was my that was my thing. You know, really had to get into the habit of finalising that paperwork every month. Repair a friendship. Mm-hmm. Is there a friendship out there that, uh, that you've let go that um, you'd like to rebuild or rekindle? Um, you know, maybe something that you just fell out of contact. Mm. And of course, you only want to build the. Fr- you want to only want to rekindle those friendships if they're going to serve you and you serve them. 
Yeah. No no good if they're friendships that you part of ways with. I think leave them. On purpose. <laughs> you've moved on. Uh, what else we got? So um, do anything that makes you feel uh, good about it and keeps in, keeps you from taking flight in your life. So okay. you don't want to be you don't want to be um, uh, fight or flight. So do things that make you feel good. So rather there's than... a message here, and there's a couple over there as well. Um, Camilla says, "Thank you. I've just jumped on and saw this about calling someone. Oops, it just moved. I've been thinking about uh, thinking." About, about calling us. No, about it, <laughs> but never got around to doing it. We'll definitely do it tomorrow as it's too late for me to call her because she's an elder. She's elderly. Awesome. Uh, Betty Mick say, great to, to be here. Thanks for wisdom. Larjo says, yep, all good, still life. Good. And well, there's, it's, some, um, there's like. some comments over here. Yeah, Maureen said friends. So she was going to call friends. And um, Maureen also said someone that I replied to, I needed to repair our friendship. Someone that I needed to repair the friendship. That's awesome. Um, so, you know, these are, these are really great things. It's about being self-reliant. Mm -hmm. Um, so do whatever's necessary with utmost integrity Yep. and intention. Absolutely. You've got to have intention behind what you're doing. So what's your intent to calling the old friend? Is it to rekindle the, the friendship or the relationship? Or to let them know that you're sorry. Or yeah. Or is it just to say, them. hey, hi, good friends are those that you can just pick up and catch yeah. up with no matter how long you've been Yep. apart haven't spoken to each other sometimes it just takes a phone call to say you know what i just want to ring you and say g'day mm -hmm. um how are you coping with covid and how are you going with work and life and business and family and yeah. uh it's been a while since we caught up just want to have a mm -hmm. chat absolutely chew the fat so chew they the say fat. so <laughs> they say all right what else um it's not necessary to know right now how you're going to get to the final destination mm -hmm. So self-reliance is about heading to your destination. Um, and that's something that I learned when I came into the personal development industry uh, 12 years ago now, Lee, back in 2008, was that it doesn't matter what your goals are. You don't know, you don't have to know the path of how you're going to get to the end destination. Mm -hmm. no. So if I want to achieve something in my life on a personal development level, live that ultimate life, travel wherever I want to travel, whatever it is, you know, live in the you house. Can travel. <laughs> you don't need to know the the step by step process of how you're going to get there. No, you got to you got well, to have a little bit of trust. Unless you're flying on a plane, you probably do need to have a few of the steps. <laughs> well, none of us are flying on planes at the moment, so we will be. We will be. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, all right, so um, do whatever's necessary. Uh, do it with intention. Keep your eyes on the goal. Yep, the goal, the north star, the shining light, the destination. The destination. So keep your keep your focus. Keep your eye on the destination, um, and think in terms of new possibilities in your life. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to be self reliant, you're tying up loose ends. You're moving through. You're opening up new opportunities. You're creating those, that vision and those goals. Yeah. Uh, you're moving in the right direction. You don't need to know how you're going to get there. You've just got to keep putting one foot in front of the other. Mm -hmm. But you know what holds a lot of people back. What? Is the loose ends. Yeah. It's the unfinished I've got to business. I've these bits and pieces before I can do that. Yeah, but it can be anything. It can be it can be um, something in your relationship with some somebody special, your significant other that maybe you haven't addressed and it's just it's not it's it's not going to go anywhere. It's just going to hold you back whilst you don't do anything about it, Are right? You holding me back. No. <laughs> um what else? It's 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 really about <clears throat> making sure that you Cross your T's and dot your I's. Yeah, absolutely. It is. There's a couple of comments. Because if you've got, stu you got stuff going on that uh, that's not finished in your life, mm. then these are things that are these that are weighing you down. Well, they're, yeah. they're weighing you. They're holding you back. It's like an anchor yeah. in a boat. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go somewhere in a boat, do you pull up the anchor or do you drag it behind you? Oh, drag you it, go? totally, because that oh. won't wreck anything. Yeah. So <laughs> pull up your anchor. So if you've got an anchor dragging you... <laughs> In life, you, know, you need to cut it off and pull it up, right? So either pull up your anchor, I'll cut it off, <laughs> um, take care of your loose ends, and and move forward positively and empowering with uh, with gusto. You want to we want to create some great success now. Now along the way, Lee, it's really important to do a couple of things, mm -hmm. right? One's got to do with our goals and our vision board and what we call our future self board. Mm -hmm. um, 
What do we do along the way towards those? Do we just leave them or do we... Update them? Yeah. Do we, no, is it important to update them? them? Yeah, if they're 10 years old, just leave them. <laughs> so how important is it to update your, your goals, your vision board and your, and your future self board? Well, very important because if you, otherwise you're going to end up in the wrong destination. You're going mm-hmm. to end up heading towards the wrong things Yep. because your goals are going to change over time. Yep. So being self-reliant is also is about also taking responsibility for your vision and where you're going. So be clear. Be clear on what that is and uh, and update your goals. Revisit them regularly. Sometimes you've achieved them, right? Yeah, you I don't mean, even realise. We've just come off our 10-day cleanse. We've achieved a goal. Mm-hmm. High five to that. Um, 10 days. Agatha did. She lost eight kilos. Good on you, Good Agatha. Good on you, Agatha. Well done. Congratulations and to I you. And I know some others that were doing it too. I don't too. know how Nick went. Did yeah, you Nick, 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 if you're on, let us know. I think you never told us. Time. Did you make it? What happened? Did you get to your 10 what days? Um, <laughs> did, you, did you give up? And Peggy was starting it, I think, Peggy too. was starting So whoever's been doing it, give Pe- us some Peggy comments. Peggy was starting on the 1st of June, I think. Oh, okay. Well, it's yeah. now the... Uh, so if you don't know what we're talking about, today. we've been talking about our um, the master cleanser. It's called the lemonade diet. It's also known as... Um, and uh, we did that over the last uh, 10 days. And, of course, you can learn all about it. We mentioned it. We spoke about it last week, and we spoke about it the week before um, that we were going to do so it. Check so out those videos. Check out those videos. A lot of information these about it. comments. So we had, um, so Agatha, today I made the call to my accountant to get my business in order and set myself up for success, not just wing it when the time comes. That's good. Awesome. Um, Bernie says, so good to make peace with others. And Rolf, Wardle Edison said, nobody can bring you peace but yourself. Yep, Philip Hay true. says, very true. Natalie says, a stitch a stitch in time. A stitch in time. Um, Gail says, great analogy. Colette says, hmm, what is weighing you down? Something to really think about. I know. Like, is if you've got an anchor in your life, like, think about that. What's the anchor in your life? And if you've got one, <laughs> how do you get rid of it? How do you either pull it up or, or cut it off? But here's a good quote I want to share. Whatever you can do or dream, you can begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. And I love that quote by William H. Murray. So I'm going to read it again. Whatever you can do or dream, you can begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. And that's a great quote. So another couple of things. So Don says, you remind me... I have two mates I have been gonna call. Gonna. It's in the diary for tomorrow. <laughs> Agatha's lost 10 kilos. 10 kilos. Wow, it. well done. I love it. Well done, Agatha. Um, D says, yes, great cleanse. Nick says, no. No, he didn't make it. Okay. He didn't complain. What happened, Nick? I know. You need to talk um, to us, Nick. And so Kerry says, you two look like you've lost weight. Yes. We yes, have. thank you. Um, uh, and that's all right. It. What else we got? So I don't know if there's any we're talking about, uh, yeah, over on uh, Love That, Maureen says, uh, Dragonfly Time 9 joined. Hello to you. And uh, Zaline Zule joined. Uh, g'day to you. Live on, we're live on Instagram, of course. Great topic called self-reliance. And we're talking about it. We've just covered, uh, you know, vision boards, goal boards, and future self boards. Now, that's a really good one, a future self board. So keep it revised and change it. Um Bernie and Mick did the cleanse. Cleanse was very different challenge oh, and good. We are now two day after and had veggies for tea tonight. Yippee! Mick waiting patiently for coffee. <laughs> no, ditch the coffee. No coffee, Mick. Ditch the coffee, Mick. <laughs> All right. Um, so count count your completion of tasks as a win. So as you're moving towards, as you're taking control and being self reliant. You, we're talking about achieving um, all these tasks that you've mm-hmm. got hanging around you, right? Things that are unfinished, calling people, jobs that are unfinished, tasks that are hanging over your head, those jobs that you think, oh, I'll get to that next week, I'll get to that next week, and next week never comes. Um, when you complete them, celebrate it. Yeah. Count them as a win. Complete your cleanse Small and go wins. out partying. Yeah, that's what we did. Complete the <laughs> cleanse and went out partying. It's not the best idea. <laughs> it wasn't so good to- no, I, uh, I didn't play anyway. so hard, but anyway. Um, somebody else did. Um, so anyway, uh, <laughs> we're back at, so count your wins, celebrate the wins. They can be big or small, um, but celebrate them, right? Yes. Because they're really important. Um, give your partner a high five, uh, a hug, a kiss, a high five, and uh, as you celebrate those wins, you know, knock them off your list. 
Like, have you got family goals that you've been uh, putting to the side? Things like, that you want to do with your family or tasks around the house that, that have been on the too hard list or that will get to that list? You know, these are, these are the, the uh, self-reliant checklist. Mm-hmm. That's what you need to call it. Make your own self-reliance checklist and start, start being on purpose. Start checking off these things and being reliant. So um, what can you get handled and what can you move that's going to allow you to move forward, Lee? I'm laughing at Kerry because she said that's because you went out with Mary. <laughs> well, no, I think, I think I Mary think might say that's because she went out with Simon. me. <laughs> so, the other way around. It's, it's, a bit of, it's a bit of both, but uh, we, we enjoyed our th- ourselves thoroughly. Maybe a, <laughs> maybe a bit too much thoroughly. Um, complete these things that are holding you back. Um, and is there cycles in your life that you can change and form closure mm-hmm. on? Yeah. So because some of these things that we have hanging around that are anchors, that are unfinished jobs, unfinished tasks can quite often be there. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. regularly. Yeah. Why? Because we allow them to. Yeah, because we do. We just, they're, they're, they're just one of those things oh, we don't I'll want to deal to, with. I'll get to it later. Yeah, yeah. So we don't want to deal with it. it now. So we, so we push it to the side and, uh, and it becomes a cycle. Mm-hmm. So what cycle can you break? What anchor can you get rid of? What self-reliance checklist can you make? And start working on it. I'd love to love to hear some of your successes that I, I made the list and people are sharing that they're going to ring that friend, that relative, that, that person, um, the gentleman that said he was going to ring his mates. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a good old analogy, isn't it? The gunner. Mm. I'm going to do it, but you're never, gonna. You're never going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> never, it never, it never actually happens, and I think that's the big thing, right? Yeah. So, um, so to create success, you must create self reliance. You've got to become more self reliant. You've got to complete tasks, get rid of them, finish them, move on, and that's um, say get shit done. Get shit done. I've got a book that's called that. Get shit done. So make a list, make a task, so and Peggy, get you oh, done. There's a couple of comments. So Peggy said... Anyone else got stuff to share? Um, I had a few things to get done this week. Paul and I will start next week. We'll keep you updated. Gail said, I've just created a weekly method of operation. Um, covers all the important aspects of my life, business, family, health, music, etc. So at the end of each week, I can be proud of what I've achieved and can see my progress. And that way I can keep on top of things so another week doesn't slip by. Yeah, it's really good, Gail. That's a, it's a great, you know, it's counting your wins. And mm. it's also celebrating the small things that you achieve on a, on a daily and weekly basis. Because otherwise, as you said, life can all roll into one. Mm. And all of a sudden you, you feel like you've not achieved anything. Yeah. But really you have, right? Because each day you achieve things. So it's yeah. important to... Important to count those wins. Uh, Lee, anything else? Any other comments that are coming up? No, Anyone no. else got any other comments that they'd like to share? Maybe over on uh, Instagram, uh, Maureen says, I'm with you, Nick. Um, okay, so maybe she started the cleanse but didn't complete it. That's okay. Um, that's okay, but uh, we'll have to find out, find out more. Um, or maybe it was something else that Nick did. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you're in trouble. <laughs> Cool. Well, I think that's it. We don't have any other comments that I can see. Any other comments? Uh, anyone else want to share any uh, any um, self reliant checklist things that they're going to go and do? You're going to ring your long lost mother. Maybe, but we do need to say big, massive, happy 60th birthday to Mick for this Thursday. Mick Island. Woo! Woo! Countdown's on <laughs> Thursday. Turns big six zero. Woo-hoo. Big happy birthday to you, Mick. A big milestone for Thursday, but uh, we'll do it live here on Facebook now, so we'll get in early, um, just a little bit early. Yeah, and someone else's countdown to their uh, big five zero. Yeah, still a little way off. No, it's yeah, coming. Thanks. Start the it's countdown. Coming. I need a countdown clock somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, All right. it's been uh, great. Great talking about self reliance. I like the topic because it really fires us up to um, take action. Absolutely. Fires us up Do to it. take action. action. Make a list. My self-reliant completion list. <laughs> That's it. So Look, I've been getting shit done. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, you know, I don't have those. I don't have those things that are hanging over my head, except ringing Virgin. Yeah, I was about to say <laughs> there is something. Except there. ringing Virgin and getting them getting a credit on our flights for September. It's on the list. No, I'll get I'm not that avoiding done. it. I'll get that done. I'm not avoiding it. It's just going to.
take time. And there is um, one other I've got to talk to the ATO. <laughs> so Ross says, I've definitely ticked off a few things this week. Thanks, Simon. F word. Fascination. <laughs> Fascinating. I don't know. That's what Fascinating. All right. Good on you, Ros. All right. Um, well, that's it, guys. And let's uh, say goodbye. That is that? it for us. Thanks over here on Instagram. Thanks for joining us on Instagram. And Thanks check out our videos time. on YouTube. Um, go to Simon and Leanne page on YouTube, also Instagram TV, Simon and Leanne. We've got uh, all of our episodes are saved there, so uh, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you come and like us on on uh, YouTube and like our page, help it build up, and, and you'll get notifications when we upload the videos, of course. Um, and same on same on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You know, make sure you uh, make sure you follow us on Instagram, Simon and Leanne, and also watch our Instagram TV. Go and check it out. Check it out. Check it out. All right. Have a great week, guys. Everyone, have a great week. Bye. Bye. Thanks for being here.